And DeBerg is back. Pass pressure. Fires into the end zone for Carter. He's got it. Here's the snap and the shotgun to DeBerg. He sets up. He's going to throw a long arching spiral. He's got Carson in the end zone. And gets away. Fires long. Bill Freeman's out there. Tip. He's got it. 50. From the Charger 8. Back to pass to Berg. He sets. Lost the spiral into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Stephon. In 1990, the Chiefs were led by the NFL's oldest starting quarterback. It was a story for the ages. I think DeBerg is a mummy. DeBerg is dead in the inside. He told Marty, he said, you know, Marty, uh, I'm your Freddy Krueger. He said, I just won't die. As you can see, reports of his death were greatly exaggerated. In fact, in 1990, Steve DeBerg conceived the finest season of his 13-year career. It was a year of rejuvenation for the veteran quarterback, now in his third decade in the NFL. More than anything, DeBerg proved he's a winner. Never was that more evident than in the aftermath of the fractured finger he suffered in the week 15 loss to the Oilers. I looked at it and immediately knew it was broken, but you know, if you were going to say, Steve, uh, we're going to break a bone on your body, I'd say, okay, grab my left pinky and smash it, you know, so, you know, I can play with that. All he needed was a special cast. It was the stretch drive, a victory in San Diego, and the Chiefs were assured of a playoff spot. There was only one option, and that was to play. In 87 while quietly emerging as one of the NFC's top quarterbacks. His 85.3 passing rating was the best in team history. Surrounded by the youngest team in the league, DeBerg provided a foundation of veteran leadership which earned him team MVP honors. DeBerg to pass, looking left, open, touchdown! Berg is just doing fantastic.